Hi, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do it at home. I'm just looking at this insect exoskeleton and going over today's science file. In today's science file, it's it. Why do insects shed their skin? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a container, some water, some flour, newspaper, and a balloon. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own insect exoskeleton and how to model multi. So, enough yakety yak, let's give it a crack. Start by getting yourself a container and fill it with water. And then add about four or five cups of flour. Mix this together until you get kind of like a soupy paste. Now, spread some newspaper, blow the balloon up just slightly, twist the balloon up, and then use a clothespin to keep the air from coming out. Now dip strips of newspaper in your paper mache mix, and then you're going to wrap the soaked newspaper strips around the balloon. Keep doing this until you've covered the entire balloon. Once the balloon has been covered in a couple layers of soaked newspaper, place the balloon in an area where it will not be disturbed. Let this sit for about 12 to 15 hours. Now peel the layers around the nozzle off and begin to pull the balloon out slowly. Don't rip the balloon out, just slowly tug on the balloon until the balloon slides all the way out. Now check this out. The newspaper shell is like an insect's exoskeleton. And the balloon is like, well, a freshly molted insect. So, what does this have to do with how insects molt? And why do insects molt? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Unlike you and I, which have a skeleton on the inside of our bodies and expand as our skeleton grows, insects don't have a skeleton on the inside of their bodies. Instead, insects have what's called an exoskeleton, or an external skeleton that surrounds their bodies. These skeletons are made up of plates of a plastic-like substance called chitin and protein, with a waxy coat covering. Although this framework is highly efficient, their skeleton can expand with their bodies, so insects undergo a process known as molting. Insects do this by expanding air sacs, or filling tracheal tubes with air to expand their body. This causes their exoskeletons to split, allowing insects to pull themselves out. They keep their bodies filled with air until the outer layer of their bodies forms a new, bigger exoskeleton. Finally, once dry, they let the air out of their bodies, giving them room to grow into a new skeleton. Insects repeat this process throughout their entire lives, shedding and increasing the size of their exoskeleton. So now you know more about insect exoskeletons. You know, making your own insect exoskeleton is why science is so cool.